Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Strength from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Universe Silverbolt. This is actually an ultra class size, big boy actually, it has a few differences from the American version and I'll just show you out. Let's go look at the box, take uh, Silverbolt out, uh, big box by the way, Transformers Universe, probably released back in 2008, there's Silverbolt, no Japanese writing there, I need two AA batteries too. So there it is, the side of the box, Decepticon, ro robots in disguise. So yeah, that's the American version. Notice that he's a little bit more burgundy. Uh, this guy right here, and I'll try to compare that a little bit more. And of course, those are the other two Onslaught and Power Glide. Those are the other two Ultra Class figures. So let's go ahead and show you that. Might go ahead and keep the box because I want to show you the figure. All right, yeah, hey, he rolls around nicely enough. But not a bad looking figure. I don't know if there's some kind of experimental jet. It says Bolt 25, just like Galvatron back in the day. Has a neat little LED displays. Let me see. It lights up a little, the flyby looking jet noise. And it, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, uh, let me see the front. When you press this over here, the front does light up. Let's see if I can. Let's try that. Because they, they cycle on and off. So you got the flyby. Then you get the thrusters lighting up. And yeah, I probably should have done this. And the LED lights in the front over here. See if I can, there we go. Yeah, much nicer. So there you go, those are the little, neat little gimmicks. It has this huge gun that fires. Yeah, spring loaded right in the front. So very big homage to the original Silver Bolt. And the landing gear retracts and as you can see he's a lot more red than the original so unfortunately it has humongous humongous undercarriage man they could have tried to do this a little better and the arms oh they do clip in so yeah not that great but they do clip in so at least they made it that point oh my goodness i shot the <laughs> i shot the bullet all the way over to the other yard and that's okay i'll go grab it later all right, so yeah, it's okay for as huge as it is. Let's give it a six out of ten. There we go. Let's go transform because I think his robot mode is a much more. Even though you can pretty much sell where or tell where the robot mode ends up. First thing we're going to do is get the the front over here and look at the size of that. That's like half the plane. It clicks nice and tabs right in the back over here, so it's looking good. Transformation is relatively easy. We're going to put down the landing gear, of course. There we go, just like that. Untab the arms, and the arms just go ahead and move down. So we'll get that later. Okay, the legs just come apart. We can put the landing gear down here, and they just just move them straight down. And a lot gold, I guess, for a lot more gold color over here. So it's got good gold coloring over here. Put that, put the heel spurt back. Same thing on the back over here, so you can put his feet over here. And we're going to rotate these 90 degrees, so that's good right here. And now for, oh, I don't think I have this correctly, so we're going to go ahead and transform this. There we go. Rotate that. So we're going to rotate that. There we go. I'm not a big fan of that, but oh well. Okay, last but not least, the neat transformation gimmick. Once you push this down, and let me see if I can do this. Yeah, look at that, his eyes light up. And when you push it back down to transform the other way. All right, see that again, push it up, eyes light up. So we got neat little gimmicks over here. Good ratchet joints as you can see. And just to show you a comparison, here he is. Notice the American version is a lot more burgundy colored. Yeah, this guy is a lot redder. So yeah, everything is pretty much red, no burgundy. And they had silver, they had gray over here. So the American version was much more gray. Hmm. So that's about the only thing. So this is a much wider, much redder, much more G1 accurate type homage. As far as articulation, yeah, you do have that. He has this humongous backpack that is that limits the shoulder articulation. Good ratchets, ratchets to the side too. Has the bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and this weird weird hand just molded in there I'm not digging that 
doesn't do much. No waist articulation because of the bicep, or sorry, because of the backpack, huge backpack hinders that as well. Good ratchet joint on the hip, swivels on the thigh, single jointed knee, and of course the th heel spur and ankle just move up. So it's all right. I'm gonna already launch the missile so you can pretty much tell, but if you wanted to put his big huge gun over here, yeah, I'm gonna have to find out where that thing went. <laughs> That's all right. Let's go ahead and set them down. Stands up all right. So even with that huge backup, he does a pretty decent job of standing up. So there we go. Size comparison, he is bigger than a Voyager. Not much bigger though, but you can pretty much tell over here. So Ultra Class supposed to be a little tinier. There is with Megatron. Ah, oh, man. I can't, I can't give this guy that great of a score as bulky and ugly as he is. So I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 here on Robot Mode as well. Alright, YouTubers. And if it had more articulation, I definitely would have given him a better score. That's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.